Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. It's about Kenex here for another video, and today we're gonna create some amazing feathers in Blender. First of all, happy Halloween for everyone who's seeing this video in Halloween's day. Today is Halloween, and for that, I'm gonna create here some simple feathers for you to learn. And then, you, in the end of this video, I hope that you will learn and uh, understand everything you need to know to after create something like devil wings or angel wings. All right, guys. So. First of all, before we go in, go to Blender, don't forget to subscribe the channel, give a like and follow me on Instagram to participate in uh, my amazing giveaway where you can win a uh, Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. So for that, you just need to subscribe the channel, give a like on this video and follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, let's go to Blender. All right, guys, we are here in Blender in this amazing interface and let's go and add a cube to start this tutorial. Let's go, add a cube, I have the x-ray on, you're gonna need it uh, to this tutorial for this tutorial, but not right now. Alright, let's add here a subdivision surface right over here, or you can go and click Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision surface already with the levels of subdivision that you want. Basically, you can click Ctrl 1 to add a subdivision surface modifier with just one level of uh, subdivision in your viewport, or Ctrl 2 or even called control 3 etc etc all right guys so i'm gonna click control 2 to add two levels of subdivision to my viewport and to my render two levels of subdivision 2 all right so right now let's go and enter into edit mode and let's activate our x-ray mode clicking alt z all right so now let's just select this top part and let's extrude that something like that let's go and click ctrl r and add three loop cuts and just click s and shift z to scale on only in x and y axis all right something like that let's bring this up and over here let me add here just a simple loop cut just right there and click in proportional editing to activate it or you can click o to turn on or turn off the proportional editing right now we just need to move this something like that all right i think this is looking pretty good let's go scale this down a little bit again and now we have our first step created so with this object we're gonna create a particle system to create our feather but first of all let's click ctrl a and apply all transforms all right and now let's add a particle system but we need to tell to the particle system where we're gonna create the hair so for that let's go to our edit modes let's select every single edge over here something like that all right all edges selected and let's go to the vertex add a vertex group and assign these edges to that group all right so now let's go again to the particle properties let's add a particle system let's change to hair let's go to the front view and over here to vertex change the density to our uh, group that we have already created segments we're gonna change to 10 segments all right and children we're gonna use so basically we can activate it right now to interpolate it and then we will gonna edit these particles to have the shape that we want so right now i think this is looking pretty good so let's go and edit our particles to have the shape that we want so basically let's go over here click and go to particle edit and now it's the fun part we just need to shape the particles to something like a feather so let's go and try to do that so let's go and try to do something like that all right all right and you can see that we have a lot of hair that we don't need so just cut a little bit and create a shape that we want something like that and now let's go again and just change here the shape something like that all right is looking pretty good right now all right and now let's just cut this over here and let's cut here something like that and something like that all right let's push this just more over here and change again the shape all right don't forget to search uh, some image of feathers and use that as reference to create the feather that you are looking for so basically like that i think is looking pretty good let's change to our side view and just move this close to our object 
something like that. Let me just cut a little bit over here. All right. And just move these around to just have the shape that you want. I'm here just creating without uh, any reference. So I'm trying to look as equal as a feather. So I think this is looking pretty good right now. So we need to change again to our front view and change this stuff like that. And you can see that we already have something uh, looking as a feather. All right. We have here the shape that... Uh, I was looking for. I think this is looking pretty good right now. So let's go and shade this uh, to something that we want. So first of all, let's change to the UV editing in here. I'm going to select everything and UV, smart UV and project this something like that. I think this is looking pretty good right now. All right. Now we have our UV map of our object. So let's go over here to texture paint and let's start work. So. Don't forget to create feathers that look like feathers. Don't forget to see some image and some reference. All right, guys. So don't forget that because it's really important that you try to create something real, something uh, that looks like a feather. I, here, I'm trying to create that. And uh, uh, I think that is looking pretty good right now. But to create something more perfect, don't forget to see some reference. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just creating this to show you what is the steps to create this kind of uh, feathers. So right now we just need to create a new image that will be like a uh, texture for this object. So let's create here a new image. Let me just change the name to like feather. All right. And in the color put white. So basically now we have like a whiteboard that we can paint on. All right, guys. So let's click OK and let's go over here and change the mode to materi material to single image. Change the image to our feather. And now we have the texture ready to be created. So right now we just need to change here the colors that we need to paint our object. All right. So I'm going to use something like a really strong orange and then orange more soft just to create something like a gradient. All right. So let's go and start working right here. So something like that. All right, let's change here to the side view. We need to do this in every single axis. So basically right here, we need to change again and let's go and paint again. All right, and I think that now it's everything covered. All right, and let's go and change right now to something like a soft orange, something like that. And let's start painting again. Don't forget that uh, now we have our texture created, but we need to apply this texture to our object. All right, guys. So basically for that, we need to go to shading and in here, let's create a new material and let's add here an image texture. We have created an image texture for this object. So let's select here our feather and now we have everything that we need for this object all right so now we just need to work a little bit with the particle system all right you can create something like uh, another particle system just for this uh, bottom part if you want something like a more fluffy feather but i think this is looking pretty good for the sake of this tutorial now let's go to material properties let's add a new material this material will be just for our hair so just for our particles so let's create a here a new material and change this to uh, principal hair BSTF. Now we want this particle system to have a different material of our object. So just right over here, let's change here to our second material. Let me just change the, the name to something like uh, volume or hair. There. All right. And let's go again to our shading panel. Here in the shading panel, we just need to add a image texture, color to color, and here just select the feather all right you can see nothing going on because we need to change the render engine to cycles but first of all let's just put the roughness a little bit something like that and the radial roughness too all right and now you can do something like a uh, uh, emission to your uh, feather or so basically for that let's add here an emission let's add here a mix shader right over here and let's put here the emission and color to color over here. All right, it's looking pretty good. And now we just need to go over here and add a noise texture just to have something like just a little bit of the feather will be with emission and the other part will not have any type of emission. So 
just right over here let me just go and add here a color ramp and the detail i can bring this something like that and just change to something like that all right so now we have only this part we will have the emission all right so let's go to our viewport and we have already created the feather to create wings we just need to have like three type of feathers just to have some difference on on the wings so basically now if you want to learn how to create wings don't forget to say in the comment section and then i will uh, teach you how to create that but i think that with this you're gonna learn everything you need to know so let's go and continue this tutorial all right right now we have created the shading and now we just need to change the render engine to cycles put here in gpu and right now we have the feather created all right guys and now with the render engine cycles you can see that we have already created our amazing feather all right so now with this amazing feather we, n we just need to create something like a, a atmosphere for that so let's go and just add here camera Control alt 0 in numpad just to bring this to our view all right and click n go to view and camera to view and now you can we can change the camera super easy something like that i think is looking pretty good right now and simple steps let's go over here to our world let's change the color to something like a sky and change the strength to 0 0.2 here in the same intensity we can change to something like 0 0.5 and we can change we can just play with these simple default settings because it will not uh, change anything to our project so let's go over here in film and just click in transparent for the world background not being seen in the render and now we just need to uh, render this image but first of all you can use the sky texture or just remove this and you can just uh, put with zero and here you can just remove the transparent because we have already created here this hair material with uh, just a little bit of emission you can see right here we can just create something like this we know strength in our world so just with emission you can create something like that and if you didn't saw the emission video that, we, that i have created how to create glow in cycles go check it out because you can change this emission to have something like a bigger glow in your uh, feather so basically that's it and i hope you like this video and if you think that you have learned something from it don't forget to give a like subscribe the channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram just to participate in my giveaway you just need to subscribe give a like and uh, follow me on instagram and that's it guys i see you in the next video bye